art exhibition. I'm a Christian author and abstract painter and I love to paint as a form of creative worship. I was showing you some of my original works, mainly painted in acrylics on canvas. All the paintings you see today are available to purchase on my Etsy store, which is linked in the description box below. Let's get into Glorify 2020. God is our creator. From the dark, he spoke out life. He spoke planets, stars, and sea. He spoke you, and he spoke me. He made us in his image, to love, to learn, to feel. When you see this complex, precious world, can't you tell he's real? So why am I a painter? To make money or have fun? No, I paint because God saves us and I need to tell someone. I paint to understand, to express and most of all, I paint to worship God above, creator of us all. I love the colors, big and bright, dancing right before your eyes. I love the movement, texture too. I love the way art speaks to you. I love the way I never know how a painting will turn out. And when it's finished, the spirit tells me what it's all about. I love the voice it gives me. I don't have to scream and shout. All I have to do is paint to speak out. So God, take all the praise and glory. I lift this up to you. Use my paintings to change someone's story. Speak to hearts with truth. I pray that you start conversations, bring people into your salvation. I praise you and pray do your will. God, creator of it all. Shine is a joyful painting with a thoughtful energy. It encapsulates freedom in living in a God-given identity and purpose. Man by the Stream is based on Psalm 1 verse 3. He is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever he does prospers. It's about how we are blessed and prosper when we are living right with God. I love the imagery of being planted like a tree by streams of water. Rest is my only work in oils. I much prefer working in acrylics because I like to use my hands when I paint, and oil paint is a pain to wash off. This painting was based around Psalm 23 verse 2 to 3. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. This is one of my favourite psalms. When I was painting this, I really processed the verses and could feel the peace of the Spirit just resting on me. Rain point zero one is the reflection of time passing by and the colours melting together like the rain falling. 
This is the impression of a landscape at sunset in the rain. Rain point zero two is an image of water passing a window. I've always found there's something spiritually comforting about nature, being in the rain or watching the sky, and I could feel that comfort as I was painting it, and that was really special. Transgressions means sin. This is one of my works that has a slightly more serious tone to it, but although it captures the deep pain of being separated from God by our sin, it also tells the full story of hope. These circles here is a representation of how we get sucked into sin and the battle we face daily to live for Jesus. And the deep red that covers the whole canvas is the blood of Jesus coming to wash away all of that sin and take it all on himself. The white and yellow help to lift you out the sorrowful emotion of the canvas and look forward with hope. It's all about redemption. Coral Reef is one of my most recent works. I was watching a nature programme when I was painting this, and the detail and the colours of our world just struck me as so incredible. I tried to represent a little corner of that in this painting. It was just a really fun, prayerful piece to paint, and I love all its hidden details. Flame to Fire is a really fun piece, with the pencil sharpenings and the mark making I created with cutlery. I love how the colours run through it, it feels very alive. This painting represents how the Holy Spirit moves among people when they're gathered in worship. It's that feeling of growing, going from one voice to millions, a small flame to a wildfire, one heart and then thousands. We serve a life-changing, soul-saving, -sav indescribably glorious God and this painting was just such a joyful act of worship to create. Voice is very different from all my other works. I actually painted this one way before I got into fully abstract art. It's about speaking out, and this can be very personal to the viewer. Everyone has something to say, something to add to society, or can see an issue in the world that needs to be vocalised and changed. Whatever that issue is, you have a voice. You can use that voice. And with God and in alignment with his truths and purpose, you are very powerful. In this painting, I created an impression of a desert, hence the name Sahara. The gold is the sand and the pink and blue is the sunrise. It's more than just a place though. It's a feeling of new beginnings and waking up feeling fresh and ready for the day. It carries a sense of peace as well, with a slow moving of the sun as it rises. This painting is based on 1 Peter 4 verse 8, which is why it's titled 148. Above all, love each other deeply, because love covers over a multitude of sins. I layered the paint, making it look like there is something underneath each different colour. The holes and slashes are deliberate, representing how God's love can touch even the deepest parts of us and make us new. The varied colours represents how we can love one another in unity, and the white is like a whitewash of God's love bringing us all together. Washed Clean is inspired by the sea. There's something so powerful, yet calming, about the lapping of the waves that always leads me to reflect on how powerful yet loving God is. I applied several layers of paint to this one to give it a lot of texture. It feels very fresh and full of movement. Expression in Red and Black is one of my earlier works. It's an expression of emotion. I love to paint to release feelings. It's very therapeutic. Wings is a very joyful painting. It has so much colour and so much going on. It even has coloured wax and glitter. And if you look closely, you can see pen marks under the paint. I really enjoy mixing mediums. If you look in the centre, you can see the form of an angel reaching down to help someone up. This was completely unintentional, which I love, and the vivid oranges and reds is like a bright burning fire or halo that symbolises the holiness and spiritual power of this angel. God is always there to protect us, 
and seeing that message in this painting without intentionally putting it there really brought me comfort. It reminds me of the Bible verse, Psalm 91, verse 11 to 12. He will command his angels concerning you, to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Divided can be relevant to any interpretation. The divide of our society between races, classes, gender and background. Or perhaps the divide of the church as a whole as different organisations take on varied beliefs and interpretations of the Bible. Seascope is an image of childhood. It captures the carefree spirit of play at the seaside, reminding me how we are called to become like little children to enter the kingdom of heaven in Matthew 18 verse 3. Salt and Light is based on the Bible passage, Matthew 5, verse 13 to 16. You are the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. This painting has a lot of texture and detail. Representing light, there's colour, gold, white and even some hidden glow-in-the-dark paint that will glow softly when the lights are off. I used big grains of salt to stick onto the canvas and played, paid close attention to creating texture. Reach depicts the hand of Jesus in an abstract impression. You can see the hole in his hand from where he was nailed to the cross. This painting says, come, come and follow me and believe in me. It references when Jesus was risen from the dead after being crucified and he visited his disciples. One of his disciples, Thomas, touched his hand so that he believed Jesus was physically risen from the dead. In John 20 verse 27, it says, Put your finger here. See my hands. Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Shepherd is one of my bigger works. It's based on Psalm 23 verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. This painting is an abstract impression of a shepherd protecting his sheep. The shepherd being Jesus and the sheep being us. Crucifixion represents the death of Jesus on the cross. The four black circles mark out the cross. The red represents his blood and also the trinity of Father, Spirit and Son as there are three red markings, and the yellow and green represent new life and salvation. The Blessing is one of my most recent works. I painted this to the song called The Blessing, which speaks blessings over family and future generations. This is almost a different style to my other works, as I used a spray bottle and a roller to get these really interesting lines and layering effects. Thank you so much for watching this virtual exhibition. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out all these paintings on Etsy using the link in the description box below. Thank you again and God bless.